Let's get started. All right, we got this American Bolt fan kit. It came with two fans, everything we need to connect the fans to the radiator, along with a relay and some other connections, a temp sensor, and then we went ahead and got some grommets and some extra connectors in case we need them. First thing we want to do is install our relay. Ooh, the fuse is built in already. Oh, and it splices to the two fans. They got that in there, American Volt. You guys got things all set up here. I like it. Oh, look at that. They even got some connectors here. Sweet. First, you want to install your thermostat. You do this by finding a port on your intake manifold. We have one previously installed. And key note here is you want to use liquid Teflon to make sure it has good ground. Now we're going to mount our relay. So I'm using my left hand here, Jake. Oh, oh, it's not. That is. There it is. There, now it's now it won't move. This is where we mounted our relay with the screw provided. Two things we wanted to make sure: mounted away from heat, and we took into consideration where our wires go from here. This is our wiring diagram we're looking at. We need a hot lead going into our relay. Red, black goes to thermostat. Override circuit gray, we're not going to be using. Yellow goes to our ignition switch. And then this green wire comes out in splices to go to each one of our fans. We recommend starting with the easiest wire first. For us, that's going to be our thermostat wire. We're going to go from our relay along these wires over to our thermostat. Our black wire is too short, so we're going to splice in a little more wire to reach our thermostat. Probably come out here and go right there. This is power from our fuel pump switch. We are going to splice into it so when we turn that switch on, it makes our fuel pump relay active and our fan relay active. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi yeah yeah yeah. Hi yeah 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 yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Another wire done. Before we install our 12 volts going to our relay and our wires going to our fan, we're gonna install our fans on our radiator. Oh. I gotta be careful with this one, Jake. I broke the last one. Oh. Oh. I totally put a hole in my radiator. Oh, I guess we're draining the radiator. We're gonna put that one right there. And this one right here. Oh, there. see, now, there. It's now like it, it came work. that way. Yeah, now it it's like it, wait. There we go. They don't look crooked anymore. Yeah, they look, because they look, our wiring should come this way. I mean, it only makes sense. Yeah, it only makes sense. Only make... All right, we have our fans where we want them on this radiator. We've got them offset to make sure that they cool as much of these horizontal um, lines going through here from left side to the right side. Uh, now we're going to work on installing. We've got these black pieces here that slide in on the corners. You want to make sure that you get your wires set up where you want them. We even moved our sticker here just to make sure that it looked good. There does seem to be a little bit of a lip on some of these. Make sure you get that off before installing. Now you're going to get a few different pieces. Got these nylon screws, bolts, sometimes what they call them, a spring, and then this lock nut right here. Before you install these, there are foam pieces that come with 
You don't want to put those on. I'm going to put those on right now. Put one on this end. Make sure you line up that hole in the middle. And put your little rubber, put your little foam protector gripper on there. Now you've got one ready to install. You've got to get four. So let's do the rest of our, our four here quick and move to our fan on our radiator. Carefully push these through. I've never done this before, Jake. I've done this a billion times. Now you slide your plastic pieces through your radiator. Jake, I have it right where I want it. You hold it, and yep. I'm going to push, push these through. It does help to have a second person helping you out. Now we add the little nuts on the other side. You want to leave a little spring tension there so that it makes it easier to remove these if you ever want to remove them. God, this looks nice. Last step, cut off your access. All right, now our radiator is ready for installing. Set it next to our other radiator over here. <laughs> our V6 radiator fit right here with our monstrous VA radiator that we're putting in. We gotta make a little more space, so we gotta take this piece out. Peace out! All right. How am I looking? I'm nervous. Too nice. Oh, she barely fits in there. But she does. Dang, Jake Roy, look at that. These line up just perfect. Hopefully they fit. This bad boy goes right there. Wire these fans up. Start it up, baby. Let's burn them tires. <laughs> Transmission lines hooked up. Okay, I got a little. Yep. I think that's good. We tried using the original fan shroud in the El Camino to hold our new radiator in. It's not quite fitting the way that we'd like it to. So quick visit to the hardware store to grab some materials. Let's see if we can make something that'll work better. I did some assessing and came up with this plan. We've got this piece of steel here that I can bend a piece of metal at a 90 and screw to, and then have the piece come up here, come across my radiator, and probably use a self-tapping screw or drill a hole and mount here and reutilize these rubber grommets Put a little more pressure on the radiator to hold it in place. I got these aluminum strips here. Should be pretty easy to bend. Let's see what we can do. First, I'm going to bend this to a 90 degree. So I've got a surface to drill through on the bottom. 
I want to make sure I go nice and slow and steady so I don't bend too quick and ruin my metal. There we go. Test fit. I go right in there. Come up along here. Looks good so far. Grab this rubber grommet off of there. And this is going to go in probably fit the best right there like that. But it'll be over here. Because that would give it a little cushion here and then also hold it in. So now we just have to determine where we want to bend the top angle. Because we do want it to be nice and snug. Now I'm thinking this can probably bend along this rubber grommet a little bit to try to keep it nice and tight and then screw in right here. So we've got our mark made. Let's do a little bending, test fit, and then we'll drill our hole for our rubber grommet. Mark made right there. Again, don't want to bend too fast. This is just aluminum, so <clears throat> it does have a little more give to it. <clears throat> in down there. And then I actually am going to cut this. Probably don't need to cut it. I can probably just bend it a few times here. There we go. Let's do a little more fine tweaking here. Around here, do you want this to come down and come up? I want to leave a little bit of a groove here so that this stays up somewhat and has a little bit of a buffer on this front. Here we go. I think that'll be good right there. Let's mark this hole for this grommet. Another reason why we're doing this is because we want to clean up and make sure that you can see those nice dual fans that we have in there. Here we go. Okay, I will probably have to drill that out just a little bit more. But this is going to be great. This is going to hold this radiator in there perfectly. Let's ream this out a little bit more. And uh, I'll probably want to drill through these holes on this steel. The self sapping screws will go through these really easily, but probably not the steel. And I don't want to make these too big. So drill this out a little bit more. Should be pretty close. Seems a little persuading. Here we go. We are almost there. I want to drill that one in the bottom first. So I'm going to see if I can get a better angle for you guys. And then we'll do the one on top. And I just realized that 
my mic was still on my sweatshirt. Okay, right there looks good. Get this rubber piece down. Try to make it as parallel as possible. It is touching the plastic fan just the slightest. I don't know if I like that or not. Let me know in the description below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, I do need to be careful getting through this. I got my air conditioning radiator below this. And I was pushing a little too hard. But since we got this started enough, I'm just going to try going with this self-tapper. Probably going to regret it. Careful once I get through this. stuff I had on the bottom below that I guess I didn't look close enough but um, let's get let's just try. yeah it looks like there's there's there are some items below there we'll just need to drill a hole closer to that edge Self tapper is probably getting a little wore down. Okay, looks like there's a couple layers here. Made it through layer number one, and through layer number two. Here goes nothing. Through one layer to the second layer catching. There we go. Look at that. That radiator ain't going nowhere. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now we just got, but we do it to the other side. Get this trout off here. You're looking good. Looks way better, way better. And then I won't have to have this here because it's got this nice rubber grommet holding it from here. Cool. Gotta grab that other grommet though. It's this one on this side. This little grommet. Pretty neat. This one will go right over here. Same thinking. Cool beans. Boom shakalaka, there we go. We got it drilled down there, strap coming up, grommet, bolted in, same thing on the other side. Down there, sides isn't quite parallel, but uh, the thing is not going anywhere. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That thing's ready. For 200 miles an hour. Just kidding. We ain't going 200 in this thing. <laughs> Shoot, I totally forgot I had these rubber washers to put between the aluminum and the steel on the radiator. I'm gonna get that done and let's get back to wiring. I'm wiring up the positive to the fans. Yellow on yellow. Pull test. Don't forget your heat shrink. Yeah. 
it's called blind crimping. <laughs> That's what you call blind crimping? Strongly not suggested. Not advised. We are professionals. Pull test. Look at that, Jack. I did it. Where's my. Oh yeah. You want to get it done today or tomorrow? Good to do go. Let's get this the length that we would like it. Right, right about there, huh? Jake, that look good? Remember you got to cut off the other terminal to splice something new on there. Yep. So overlap a little bit. Is that what you're saying? Does it matter which way I go? No. But I just have to be consistent with what I decide? Yep, so that way you can swap it. Okay. Female end on the fan side. Female end on the fan. Pull test. Good to go. Okay, male end on the positive. Power coming in. These are yellow. That kind of hard. Full test, good. I'm just gonna connect this so I don't mess anything up. Oops. There we go. They touch each other, but they don't touch anything else. All right, we're gonna work on the other positive. Butt connector, please. It's easier to put this on first, and then you pull with the wire. It's easier if you get a larger size too. But sometimes, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. You play with what you got. Pull test passes. Be good enough. Okay, so go along here, go along this one, connect right here. That's good. Pull test good. Here we go. Now we connect our negatives. I'm going to run my conduit through here. So the best spot would be branch off from the conduit right here for my grounds. There we go. We got a spot for our grounds. Now let's run some wire to it. You like that? That was good. That was pretty good. Not a, lot, not a whole lot of words. 
we got our location where we want our grounds to go to. We got our connectors. Let's, let's run our wire. Right there. Up to this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little extra. And go right there. And that should be plenty to get us to our other one as well. And yes, we are using the same colored wire. This is the only wire that I have at the proper thickness. I do not plan on selling this car, but if I do, good luck. <laughs> Trying to be funny, Jake. Trying to be funny. Cut that as high as you can. Going to need to fold this over. So we're going to cut a little extra. good fold. Where's my butt connector, Jake? Hey, Jake, thanks for bringing these connectors over. to run our last ground. You know what? I just realized, Jake, what? if these fans aren't connected properly and they run backwards, I'll have to redo these. Yep. Well, we're committed now. You probably thought of that, but you were just like, I'll let Lee learn. I mean, if you do this one, right? Frickin' genius. I knew there was a reason why I'd keep you around, Jake. We're gonna do this one the right way then. Fold it over. And we will. There's just going to be an extra one down there. That's like that 10 millimeter, Jake. Yeah. It's for the next guy. We're donating. We're donating for the next guy who's going to need that. Dude, you were doing that right there, and all of a sudden this socket came out of nowhere. Yeah. It's a, oh, 10, 10 millimeter! millimeter! Hey! Oh, we found oh, it! Jeez, guy's like, where'd my 10 mil go? Oh, dude! <laughs> All right, I put the female on this end. And the male on this end. Full test, good to go. Whoops. Yeah, when I cut and then I twisted, it took a few strands. Yellow on yellow. It's not going nowhere. How's that look? You think so, Jake? I don't know. I was a little scared you'd be like, that's ugly. You ran that one too long, Leroy. Okay, just bear with me. Put, a little, put some zip ties on that, clean it up a little bit. What's that? 
we've got a few too many wires. Well, we just have, we've got one wire that's tapped out here from our positive, and we've got to hook up this wire to our positive as well from our fan relay. So we've got this adapter, which means we've got to take this piece out, put this piece in. Here goes nothing. Kind of get. Kind of got to get one side started and then twist it around. I already cut into this, guys. I just wanted to make sure that it fit. Oh, boy. Well, at least I thought it fit. Hmm. All right, so I just had to kind of cut the top off. There, now this fits in there perfectly, and I can tighten it and put it on there. Uh, I'm just going to use this. To continue my wiring and uh, hook up a connector here. There we go. That will wrap around right there and connect on the end of our positive terminal. Um, let's connect our battery. Oops, wrong end. Goes in there just like that. Something a little bit bigger to tighten that. Excuse me. Yeah, you know how good I am with the radiators. That's probably good right there. Hook up our last little connection for this relay. And that right there is how you wire up your electric fan. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on notifications because the next video, we're gonna show you how to properly fill up and heat cycle your radiator to get all those bubbles out.